Hello, I'm Christabel Chamaret and I'm a psychotherapist and over my 40 years of working with individual and, and group um, clients, I've developed some simple diagrams to illustrate psychological processes and healing processes. And one of these uh, diagrams I've actually adapted um, to help me to understand the history of Australia and some of the situations that we get ourselves into in relation to our history and um, our Indigenous uh, peoples. And so um, the diagram that I normally draw uh, is to help people understand their own um, problems and psychological difficulties. And what I draw is um, a child, an inner child, in a uh, what looks to be a grown-up, but who, that I call the pseudo-adult, because it looks, talks and acts like a grown-up, but under certain conditions, instead of a grown-up activity, out comes a very damaged, um, difficult behaviour. And I believe that that comes from the emotional child or the inner child, the person that has experienced trauma and hasn't gained healing from it. All of us in childhood experience trauma, uh, but it's actually not acknowledging it and getting um, relief from it. If we, if we deny it and pretend it hasn't happened, then we're in danger of it acting out in ways that are negative and causing problems. And so as a therapist, when I'm working with people, I want them to actually acknowledge the pain of their, their emotional past and to grow and catch up. And if they do acknowledge that, they grow to be what I call the true adult. And the true adult is the grown-up child, the child that isn't blocked out and kept down because of shameful or traumatic behaviour that's happened that they're afraid of. The true adult is, and actually this is very similar to transactional analysis, the parent adult child of TA is actually my pseudo adult, which is my age and in my body, and the inner child, which is my childhood, because nobody else can have my childhood. And the true adult is the person that integrates both of those things rather than being split and trying to be adult and then suddenly the child breaks out and does inappropriate things like violence, anger, um, sexual offending, um, bad behaviour that doesn't match what the adult aspires to. Now, I'd like to apply that to Australia because what I feel is that there's a lot of unacknowledged pain in the history of our country that um, if you think about it, and I'm going to draw probably a very poor picture of Australia, but to give you the idea that sometimes Australia is acting like a pseudo adult, it's acting like it's a grown up member of the global society, and other times it acts out in ways that are really shocking that, that cause us to feel what's going wrong with Australia. Why are we so um, negative to our Aboriginal people? Why are we um, so hostile to refugees that come by boat when we ourselves came by boat? Um, what is it that's causing some of those uh, behaviours that we wish we could grow up and be true adults in, in our world? And uh, in my pseudo-adult diagram, I pointed out that it's childhood trauma that causes parts of us to stay stuck. And if you think about the trauma in Australia's history, there's colonisation, there's the damage to Aboriginal people, um, there's the brutalisation of the colonisers as having been in exile, exile from England and uh, very, very traumatised by the, uh, the different environment, new and strange conditions, and uh, often prison-like because so many were, were prison colonies. So imprisonment is damaging. The, um, all those things in our history have, because we haven't acknowledged the pain and worked through that, Sometimes it causes us to be brutal and damaging in our acting out. 
and thinking first of ourselves and not of how other people might be affected by what's, what's happening. If we have become uncaring of our own pain, we're more likely and at risk to inflict that pain onto others. So um, I would like to say that the, the cause of some of our more uh, negative and damaging behaviours as a nation and as a country may come from unacknowledged pain of our own past. And if we could acknowledge and heal, then we could grow up to be much more compassionate um, uh, people who have really something to offer in our, as global citizens rather than locking people up. You know, it's really interesting that our main measure of uh, punishment is locking people up and we were a penal colony. So being a, a penal colony has led to some very punitive responses. Um, ignoring Aboriginal people and perhaps fearing them as different from us and, and the the um, almost the um, the destruction of Aboriginal culture and the the massacres and the unacknowledged uh, removal of Aboriginal people from our history in in accepting the um, the lie of Terra Nullius. All those unacknowledged pains are contributing because they're unhealed to some of our maladaptive behaviours that can come as a result of that. So, um, here we are. This is just a, a theory of mine, but it helps me to be compassionate as well. When people offend and commit murder or sexual offence, I'm, I'm very able to see in their life history the origins of that that have contributed to it. It's not making excuses, but having an explanation means that they don't have to keep doing those behaviours. Similarly, with our history as a nation, and this just doesn't apply just to Australia, it applies to communities and regions and maybe the whole world. If we could actually acknowledge our pain and work through it, then that would bring us to a more healthy um, place in our uh, adjustment. So that's my uh, in integration of a, an individual psychotherapeutic model of uh, childhood damage leading to um, maladaptive behaviour and look at it as both uh, individual, group, community, country, world. Thank you.